Miller was a beloved father and husband. He rode with the Fallen Kings Motorcycle Club. Members call it a brotherhood. This picture captures their bond. Doug Miller looking at his son's grave, his fellow riders there to support him. Today, they remember the man they say loved two things in life, his family and riding motorcycles. A family man, a former coal miner, and a fallen king. He would just walk up behind you all the time and he'd just pat you on the back and say, love you, and then he'd just keep walking. Doug Miller is described as someone full of love. A father of six kids, he loved his family more than anything, and he loved to ride. I'd never hardly seen Doug drive a vehicle. Every time I seen him, he was on his motorcycle. He, he rode more than he drove, that was for sure. Never did see Doug go over 50 mile an hour. He was the type of guy. We, uh, we made him a tail gunner because he'd break the pack up. He was a member of the Fallen Kings Motorcycle Club, a group that has experienced heartbreaking loss. In April, dozens of bikers gathered to honor fellow rider Justin Miller. Now they honor another member of the Brotherhood, who was taken far too soon. Oh, Lord. I mean, that was like losing your heart and your kidney. I mean, you can't replace them. With each ride, they'll think of Doug Miller, the man who always trailed behind, who always had your back. Visitation for Doug Miller will take place Monday night after 6 at Millertown Church. A funeral will be held on Tuesday also at the church with a burial following at Millertown Cemetery.